All right, so let's talk about these games. Uh, Jeremy St. Louis alongside Charles Davis as we get into that preseason action. Let's start with this Kansas City-Chicago game. I mean, Pat Mahomes, we're not concerned about, about the Chiefs, but in terms of the takeaways from the Bears, what did you see from the Bears, a team that's really not expected to do much uh, this season? Yeah, you laid it out perfectly. The expectations are really low, and there's turmoil in camp right now because Wilcron Smith, the linebacker, asking for a trade. But Matt Eberflew is a brand-new head coach there. Ryan Poles is the brand new general manager. It's a fresh start in Chicago, and it may not mean a ton of wins, but I think they like the operation and how things went. They were down, they came back, the team fought and scrapped a little bit, and I thought Justin Fields showed that he made some strides in the offseason here in the early going as the quarterback. And he's got a couple of receivers that made some really nice grabs on the day to kind of, you know, maybe I'm not going to call them errant throws, but obviously that athleticism on yes. high balls was certainly uh, good to see from those wide receivers. And, I mean, there are questions about fields in this offense because it is going to be a new offensive system. But, I mean, based on what you saw today, are you concerned about where he's at or are you are you, are you content that, that he's progressing the way he should be? Yeah, I believe he's progressing the way that he should be. And you make a really good point about brand new system, brand new coaches. But the smart coaches also cater to the athletic ability and the strengths of their quarterback. And we'll see that with the Bears. We actually saw it on one play where Fields was able to bust out of there and show his athleticism and legs running the football downfield. So we'll see the Bears continue to evolve on offense, but most of it will go through number one, through their quarterback. And these receivers, just be prepared. Stay alive as well because he can move around in the pocket. You mentioned it when we were talking about the – when we were in the highlights about Kansas City, the receiving core. There are questions there as well with the loss of Tyreek Hill and how this offense is going to look depending on, you know, who you're reading or what kind of analysis you're looking at. Some are saying Pat Mahomes is going to have a down season. Some say he's going to have an incredible season. What happened with this team in this offseason that gives you confidence that they're going to be just fine? Well, two things, and I'm going to go back to last year when they rebuilt their offensive line. Okay, you remember drafting Creed Humphrey in the second round, getting Trey Smith in a steal in the sixth round, uh, getting everything together that way. That offensive line really grew and came along last year. So that helps Patrick Mahomes now focus on a brand new receiving core. Rookies, veterans coming in, being integrated. Remember, Andy Reid canceled some off-season activities for the team because he said Patrick Mahomes will handle this with the young guys. And they all got together in the off-season, I believe, in Texas for throwing sessions, for film sessions, to talk about the playbook. And in the highlights we saw, the ball moved around. It got to a lot of different people. You don't just replace Tyreek Hill. We know that. But these young guys will have a chance to make their mark. And Patrick Mahomes, you know he burns inside to show everyone, I can guide this team. It's not all them. I can do this as well and bring other people along because that trust Andy Reid showed, that's what they trusted Tom Brady to do all those years because we always said, who are the receivers yeah. there? That's what they've trusted Aaron Rodgers to do. Green Bay never drafted a receiver in the first round. Patrick Mahomes getting the same type of respect from Kansas City. Do you think that there's one particular wide receiver that's going to benefit from that or do you see a lot more of the distribution as what we saw in this preseason game that there's going to be a lot of different guys getting yardage there's going to be a lot of different guys getting yardage Travis Kelsey is still going to be tight end one which might mean wide receiver one on this team because of the way that they do things but Marquez Valdez Scantling they've been waiting for him forever in Green Bay <laughs> here in Kansas City no better opportunity to show you can do more than just run a nine route meaning the go the deep route do other things, keep your routes alive. Patrick Mahomes will find you because Tyreek Hill, he benefited often from Patrick Mahomes keeping a play alive and then throwing a laser shot across his body 50 yards downfield and a big play result. Yeah, that's something that uh, some of these Chiefs receivers and you guys are going to have to learn, right? <laughs> keep your routes going because Patrick will find a way to get you the ball if the yeah. play kind of breaks down. This is also a time for McCole Hardman. Be more than a kick return specialist. Up your, up your game as a receiver and he can benefit as well. Yeah, there are expectations for Mecole Hardman heading into this season. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.